Right, time to move on to some of my favourite things to draw with. Chalk and charcoal. Now, they're both great because you can do so much with them. Now, for chalk, just look at how much a little chalk dust can just be used to dab onto paper with a bit of cotton wool to create a sort of, well, it's a sort of billowing cloud effect, just going in a circular motion like that, just rubbing the chalk in. See that? And you get this sort of great cloudy effect. There, one more on there like that. And then it really looks like billowing clouds. If you just take a stick of chalk and just pick out, just pick out the edges of the clouds there, and it looks like sunlight dancing on those clouds. Great effect. And I love the way with charcoal that you can smudge the edges of the lines to make them look softer. Watch this. I just smudge the lines on the cat's body. It looks nice and soft and almost fur-like. See that? Now have a look at how you can use chalk and charcoal together. Brilliant art attack. Silhouettes of trees in the moonlight. Very moody and very simple. And doesn't it show you how effective light and shade can be in a picture? We'll try this. Take a dark piece of drawing paper. It can be black or it can be dark blue or a dark grey. And in the middle, just draw a moon with some chalk. <laughs> and when you've drawn the moon, just smudge it out a little bit to create a hazy moonlight. Do that with your finger and then blow off the excess dust <laughs> and just put the moon back in again. And then just draw in the edges of some fluffy clouds just around the moonlight there. Just the edges of these clouds and just pick out the edges with some moonlight. And then draw in the silhouettes of your trees. Now, I'm just going to do some very simple, straight birch trees. You can do whatever trees you like, and you can make them as detailed as you like, but it's just the silhouettes you want. You can do it using chalk or pastel or charcoal. And just making them a little bit smaller as they get into the distance. Just around the edges there. A few branches, not too much. And then just make it darker down one of the edges of those trees. The edge that's away from the moonlight. So it's the edge that's in the shade. When you've done that, just put in the shadows of the trees. Now, shadows are cast away from the moonlight, so just do the shadows fanning out from the moon. So there it goes, out that direction. Just fanning out like that. Oops, <laughs> butter fingers. And then just pick out some highlights down the side of those trees, the side that's facing the moonlight. So these are just little bits of moonlight dancing on the side of those trees. And there it is, a little bit of light, a little bit of shade, silhouettes of trees in the moonlight. <laughs>